Hey, what's going on, WBSE? The Whiskey Network is here to give another review, and this one is going to be, well, the bottle's empty. A uh, sample that we were sent by Brown Foreman Woodford Reserve. Uh, it's Woodford Reserve's Chocolate Malt Whisper. Uh, so we have it in our glasses, and it's actually got some nice legs. It does have good legs. They just kind of really hang a little thin. Uh, so the color is a little, little light for me. I uh, thought it was going to be a little darker when Bill was talking to me about it last week. Uh, so Liz Elizabeth McCall calls this the happy accident. Uh, so kind of like a Bob Ross painting, you know, you make a little happy mistake, you go with it and see where it takes you. And you got a beautiful tree. Uh, so cheers, Bill. Yeah, cheers. And cheers, Whiskey Network and WBSE. So going to go right into the nose. You definitely so, get the cocoa, the chocolate, the, a little bit of a. Uh, well, let me let me go into what they say, uh, right. and I don't know if this is Elizabeth McCall or Chris Morris or a combination of both, but they say the color is orange chocolate. Uh, you know, I I guess. Yeah, it, it's, it looks I, like I, whiskey to me. Yeah. <laughs> I do see a look like it, it's definitely a little bit more it, amber. Yeah, it is more amber. Uh, the aroma they're saying has a medley of dark chocolate, dusty cocoa, and roasted coffee beans brightened with a hint of cit citrus oil and mint. I get the dusty cocoa. You definitely get the chocolate and the cocoa, uh, uh, coffee. Maybe a hint, just a hint of citrus on the nose. I kind of kind of see that. I'm a little off, I think. Well, I've already known that for years. We've all so. known that for years. And and now that I think about it, maybe a slight touch of mint. I'm not. The nose. I'm not picking the mint on the very all. end. On the very end of the. Well, that everybody hatch, gets baby. everything. Okay. You get that chocolate malt big time. Yeah, um, the dusty cocoa. Oh, wow. That has a lot better flavor than I thought it was going to. Mm -hmm. uh, so these bottles are only sold in 375s down at the distillery yep. and select few uh, retailers down there, as far as I know. I don't think it's uh, sold nationwide. No, as far as, it's, it's uh, the definitely a limited release. Um, that finish just hangs. The finish is so long. Now they're they're giving us the palette with smoky roasted cocoa, vanilla beans, and dark chocolate sweetened with a very slight drizzle of caramel atop faint fruit and citrus notes. I get some of that, definitely. Uh, I do get the vanilla, I get the chocolate. Uh, not, not so much like a drizzle of caramel, but I, you do have a that very typical caramel profile. I think it's more like toffee. It reminds That's me of a Heath what bar. Saying. Yeah. A chocolate covered toffee Heath bar. And that finish <sighs> really just like it's still there. It it's just there. So the tasty notes that they got for the fit finish, it's lingering like a chocolate brittle walnut fudge brownie. And I kind of really see that. I mean, whoever came up with that description. Was kind of spot on. Yeah, and this retails for forty nine ninety nine. Uh, in case you get the opportunity to get a bottle of it, and I would love to get a bottle of this. And Chad and I are going to try something a little different that we don't typically do with our reviews. And I mixed this up beforehand. That's why the bottle is empty. Uh, we're going to try a walnut bitter old fashioned with this, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, since they use um, the term br um, chocolate brittle walnut fudge, and I used a little bit of gala orange for the orange flavor. That's my own personal recipe. It has Italian VSOP brandy in it, and we'll just see how this tastes. We don't have the fancy orange peel to uh, give that a try or dress it up, but it's 
very good uh, smell it old fashioned. And I'm not the biggest cocktail guy. And this smells delicious, bro. Yeah, it's quite tasty. Get the chocolate. The orange pops out first, time, obviously. But it reminds me of one of those assorted chocolates that you would get mm -hmm. like Valentine's Day or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, where you do get the orange chocolate, uh, whatever they are. Uh, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, that's yeah, I could drink a few of these. I think I may. Cheers, WBSE Whiskey Cheers, Network. Whiskey Network. Cheers, WBSE. Cheers, Bill. Cheers, brother. All right. 